I actually spent one year here in the US. Uh, I went to travel to learn English and to learn about the people here because there was a big fancy for me um, that was called Bob Dylan and the Beat Generation and Hair and the Hippies and the Acid Truck. It was all a mix in my head that America was going to be beautiful. And so I arrived here in New York when I was 18 and I just raided the country for nine months on my bicycle. And it's actually the same bicycle that is in the movie. It's called Ice Cream Lollipop. I bought it in Nashville, Tennessee. Yeah, and I kept it for 10 years and it's in the movie. You know the pink bicycle? Yeah, that's the same. It's, come, it's from here and from... It was my first... It was actually... I like to talk about this USA trip because the Americans gave me the confidence to have the courage to tell my parents I want to be an actress and I'm going to go to Brussels and I'm going to study and, uh, and my parents were more like a little chilly, you know, like, yeah, maybe you should go to uni or... But the Americans are still like, yeah, everything's possible. If you like it, you should do it. And so it gave me this feeling and when I came back, I had this strength of saying, okay, I'm out of here. I'm going to be an actress maybe or maybe not, but at least I'm going to try. Yeah. It's a movie that we made together and it's a movie about life and about what we're going through right now and we want to give hope and joy and energy to these crazy times because we have to be together right now. We have to hold ourselves together and we want to give this energy to everyone. And the artists are sometimes, I think, good for that. Yeah. It's really nice. You have a different character when you speak another language. So it's it's the beginning of our art of your art as an actor is your body and your and your language. And so language is a big part of it. So it's really awesome to be playing in other to be expressing yourself in another way, with other words, with another accent. It's really the best, like it's super fun. The roots, you know, it's so important in my life to have this little nest where I can always feel welcome. And there's um, an American feminist that said, uh, she's, her name is Gloria Steinem. I don't know if you're familiar with her. I really like her. And she said, maybe it's the most revolutionary thing for a woman is to take a trip, uh, enjoy herself, and then being welcomed with wide arms when she comes back. And that's every time that's what I, what I feel when I go back to Switzerland. So. Uh, the raclette. Oh, I'm really a chef. It's super important for me, yeah. It's conviviality, is this, this meal, this, this, this way of, of eating, because we don't eat like with little things in the middle of the little oven. We, 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 we do a big cheese and we rack for everybody and everybody eats and then wait for everybody to eat and then eat again and then and it's super convivial, it's cheap to make for everyone. It's like a wedding uh, meal and it's really awesome. I love to, I love to um, gather people and feed them. 